And the big thing with um, Mr. L playing Pika, there's not a lot of Pikachu practice. Nice, right. great off Smash by Tilde. Yep. But yeah, not a lot of Pikachu practice in the New York area. Mm -hmm. Oh, no shot. No one rolls there. Uh, <laughs> we're, in, we're in like year three. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Uh, okay. Taking the crazy route back to the right side of Town and City. Great routes from Tilde. The defense is insane. And catching that jump with a down tilt. Three Yo, stocks I, to one. I definitely thought that thunder hit. And yes. I'm like, boy, that's not what happened. <laughs> right. You know, it's not able to capitalize on the correct thing. And, but catching the jump yep. out of shield. <laughs> All right. Oh, the forward air is going to break up with the thunder jolt there. Putting the pressure on now. A lot of empty hops into the down air. And it's so good because you can just sort of put the pressure on. Oh, my oh. God. The forward smash. Yeah. It brought this back. 59%. One quick combo. Yup. That's it. And... You don't want to be like I'm the legend against Pikachu, especially on Town City. Definitely not. Oh, oh, but you don't want to be above Falco either. The first stock and the third stock go into the up smash. Just had to get that extra one in there for yeah. insurance purposes. He did for measures. He's like, yo, double up. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, gonna make it back to center stage. Huge for Tilde. Nice. Gets that turnaround back here. And look, yeah, like you said, that Thunder Jolt insurance from the Thunder Jolt coming up from the stage, let alone for the edge guard. But that doesn't matter when you die from center stage up tilt in the back air from till day. Yeah, you, you gotta know how to like, the, oh, great job right there. Oh, but so yeah. Yeah, dude, the aerial timing, insane. Till day finds an opening though down here. Oh, good answer, good answer. Yeah, oh, I like the runoff just in case he drops shield right there. Yeah, back here. No, going for the forward air. 89%. Oh, I love that. Okay. Almost, yeah, almost. Tilde, good, good job using the walls to get back himself. And another, another yeah, another up smash. Um, okay. Bit of a scramble here. Both of them looking for an opening with either Falco side B or Pikachu up B. Dash tech gonna be it though. Yeah, and I like the slowdown of the game oh, by Mr. L, but side B into back air. Sakurai's bread and butter. <laughs> you'll, um, you know, you'll just be able to get so many uh, up is linked. Um, as well as like up tilt, having a good anti air in this matchup, look at this, it, it's it's huge. Having a good anti air is everything to me in this matchup because Peach is always <gasps> going to want to come in with an aerial, and <laughs> when you can attack from above and below, it makes it super hard for Peach to uh, survive in such a volatile environment. Peach really does struggle uh, in finding options there. Ooh. Hmm. Almost getting a huge up tilt situation, wow. but able to clean it up anyway. Now bringing. Ling Ling down to uh, last stock of this game here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's such a big grounded down. Oh my Tries to go for the follow up, but like. <laughs> Both players almost belligerently just ignoring each other's options. Keep, uh, keep vigilant, you know? This is top eight. Can't just be uh, holding mm -hmm. to simple pressure. Yeah, not going to be easy to two flame Peach, though, but one good scoop of the Florida when you have such narrow blast ones like on Town City, when it's somebody mm -hmm. as light as Peach. Um, yeah, she's going to be as good as Gonski, so. Yeah, not get grabbed, but. Um, Honestly, the both of them are. Ling Ling gets hit with, you know, one. Uh, oh, what mm. a recovery option as well. Tilde is making Falco work for him in ways that Falco really shouldn't be because th this should be Falco's disadvantage. This is what should be the most difficult part of the game for Falco. But his mix-ups are so good as Ling Ling. Yeah. How do you cover it all? It's such a tough, tough. Uh, Position to be in. I don't. I wouldn't want to have to edge guard uh, Tilde right now. That's. I do not envy uh, Ling Ling's position mm -hmm. here. I do like how Tilde didn't choose to commit to anything there. Peach's up B hitbox can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. And look at these angles as well. Just always keeping themselves as delayed as much as possible. Down smash is only just going to be a little poke there. <laughs> what kind of aggressive option was that? There's no way that wasn't meant to be a laser, right? I think that was a laser. It's, it's either that or like the positioning that Ling Ling's choosing is uh, wow. outside of the reach of the second hit. Do the cover, so he does eat a bit of damage, but you know what? That's fine because he's back onto the stage. He can play this game, but not for too much longer as Ling Ling is still able to close it out. So, game. what game? <laughs> well played. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I don't know who was in the worst position there, but Tilde did not seem to care who was in the worst position, just absolutely uh, blinding us both with aggression. And uh, wow, great. there is so much to be said about how Tilde is consistently getting back onto the stage before Ling Ling with every commitment that he is making off stage because it is mm. always a chance that he's going to get this hit. But you know what? It's a gamble worth taking if he can always get back on and then just ledge trap the opponent like normal after baiting or forcing a certain recovery option. So death, like a hit is good. Yeah, a hit is good. That down smash is going to be sending Tilde the wrong way as he was already on Whoa. Peach's left side there. You see that wall jump there strategy? Yep. That was slick. I would have expected that on a different stage, but not Smash Hill, where your wall jump opportunity, like your window, is not that big. 
Oh, wow. All right. We have the... Uh, I'll get Gem on that. He likes to do those kind of things. Gets a falling up. Oh, Back my Back down Lord. grab. Down air again. <gasps> down air again. Gets a drag down off stage. That was such a oh. nasty position oh. to put Ling Ling in. Oh, man. That was insane. That whole sequence was beautifully done. But this high recovery from Tilde is so smart. But guess what? He didn't Ling land. Ling's he has ready no double for jump. It. Ling Ling's ready for it all and covers the yep. high recovery with the crown. Good stuff. Ling Ling making some great adaptations that game. we we'll missed that tech, but you know what? I, want a I don't her. think that day will come. I want a neutral. I want a forward. Those back airs are fast. I 100% agree. But why not just neutral in that place? Occasional back airs, but not enough that Ling Ling uh, actually has to worry. And Ling Ling somehow still alive despite that awesome yeah, pressure. Yeah, is he? Well, is he face? He was. He was. I promise. Past tense. I promise. He was alive. Big damage afoot. He keeps getting these single hit up tilts, and uh, <gasps> I don't know <gasps> what it is. That shield poke was fantastic. He waits it out, but Ling Ling still has enough time to be able to throw out an oh, air dodge. Uh, had so little end lag. Uh, up to go. Is that going to be a back heel? No. What, what, what is what? going on? This is the most freestyle of combos I've ever seen. Oh, my. What? You're, you're oh so crazy. Nuts. You're it's so nuts, crazy, dude. dude. Calm down. Frame. It can, oh, man. I move that move just that does absolutely everything for Pichette. That Wait, hitbox how about stage. instead of back air off stage, he goes for forward air on stage? That's what I'm saying, right? But uh, maybe just like not the best decision making there. But you know what? Tilde finding side being to up a classic. It's working out a lot for him. I, I think he should be doing that more. Oh, Tilde had a good idea with his directional air dodge, but Falco has such a stubby one that it didn't make too much of a difference. Getting a little bit too greedy there, you have to remember just how floaty Peach is. Mo mobility options are so funny. What? 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 <laughs> that was the fastest nair grab I have ever seen in my what? life. Holy moly. Oh, wow. wow. Both players kind of throwing out some Hail Mary options, and no one's landing any of it or punishing any of it. You see Tilde this time just respecting the up B hitbox as it's coming back on. That fast forward air from the ledge. Whoa, That's it. that grab mix up was so oh. sweet. That was amazing. Ling Ling, I love, love, love that empty landing. That was so slick. Sweet grab combo at the end. You know, from or game one and two, we thought this was going to be a 3 out. But Ling Ling has started to make a lot of adaptations. I believe he started it also just playing a lot more safely. And he's getting out of a lot of Tilde strings super early. Um, relatively speaking, right? His DI has been really solid. I believe he's trying to SDI some of these hits as well. Um, normally, this is a character that I feel like Falco combos so well. He's been doing a great job from the from the word go of getting out of like the up tilts. Like so many times, single hit up tilt has been throwing Tilde off uh, off kilter. You know, dude, the way that he pressures with his short hops is so scary. Great and down tilt there. Yeah, great down tilt neutral, but not killing quite yet. No, there's another one. There's another one. He has no jump. Oh, but doesn't track Ling Ling in time. But you know what? No matter. That's a zero to death, baby. At times, like, at the same level as your opponent. Yep. Um, because that's, like, how the game like, just kind of ensures that the auto link angles do what they say and actually link. But what an up tilt. That would have been so scary. Ling Ling still smart to be able to air dodge out of there, but... <gasps> no. <laughs> I was Ling Ling said no as well. Also air dodging as far away as possible. Just... <gasps> You know, the, the gasp of, uh, I'm, I'm in danger. Name a more iconic duo, floaties and neutral air dodges. Yeah. As an s main man, it feels good. Uh, just <laughs> just being able to do that so easily out of disadvantage so often. But Tilde not able to get the drag down, neutral air grab, no matter because he still has Ling Ling in one of the nastiest positions he can find. He has no double jump. Oh, but he finds his way back down to the ground, which means Ling Ling might have a chance here. Just got to get this stock over with. But he just hasn't been able to find any openings. Till this basic what? shield grab into up air is gonna be what seals the deal. Wow. I'm gonna pretend the game four was the last game of that set instead of five. Absolutely. You see now that the FD layout, this is gonna be. Oh, I actually like that. You saw that Tilde was slowly trying to walk up and bait out the get up right attack right there. But unfortunately for him, didn't really get much out of that. And Mystery ends up closing out the first stock. All right, E with the lead has a lot of potential to allow this lead to snowball. Tilde is not going to let that opportunity come, though. From uh, Mr. E. Yeah, E is fantastic at being able to adapt in these situations. But you got to have a game plan for something like that. Tilde going out for the kill deep. Go. Any foul, though, especially the likes of Tilde. Likewise, as well, you don't want to overextend against Lucina, too, because once you're positioning yourself in a spot where you thought you had the ledge trap, Mr. E just comes over and like, no, 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 our ledge trap. This is going to be rough doings, and Shieldbreaker is definitely going to make for the offensive that he needs to press more doable, but 
He basically needs to make one oh. interaction work for him. Hey, he needs to be careful with these side Bs because Mr. E already calling it out. Woo! And you go off stage every goddamn time when you see a very punishable recovery just like that. And you absolutely follow him all the way down to the blast zone with that down air. Risky gambits like that are going to be what's absolutely necessary for both of these players to try and take some sort of substantial lead. And leading into game two, we have small battlefield which is a stage that definitely facilitates a lot of volatile play once stage control is nabbed. And Tilde has made sure that he's the one who's starting it off with his own oh hands my with a God. zero to death! My God, Ajax, what's it need to do? Patience really proving to be the name of the game here. Like the fact that Tilde is waiting right outside of that burst range of Lucina, but he's got to pick better times to dive in as Dolphin Slash manages to nab the kill and he evens up the stock count. Grab the ledge. Yeah, that was his jump gone and everything too. So the fact that Mr. E was able to drift in and hold on to that, amazing. But uh, we all know that up smash is, never mind, down tilt is going to be the case. <laughs> uh, once you see Tilde kind of stutter stepping around like that, he's trying to bait a really stupid option out of you, like an aggressive jump. That time didn't even need it. I really am getting a sense of deja vu, Ajax. We yep. already got him pressed to the ledge. Oh my goodness, that wouldn't have killed, but that would have put him in a really bad spot in the top end of the screen. That's the jump, he misses the nair. What's Tilde gonna do about his landing here? Decides to air dodge down, he gets frame trapped. All of a sudden he's getting covered. He's gonna get the high recovery though and get out of that situation. Oh my god, There's this. look at how close this game is all of a sudden, Frank. Like it's down to the pinch, so close. And it's because he hasn't been able to consistently find those punishes on the plats. Like, Tilde's done such a good job of mixing up the recoveries both to the ledge and to those platforms. Because of that, he can't get a lock on his movement. Yeah, and he keeps trying to find these aggressive, like the Nair and the forward air, trying to stop Mr. E from coming off stage to punish him, but he misses out. Now he's forced to take another ledge trap here, and he covers the jump. Mr. E doesn't move from his spot. He knows he's going for it and immediately covered to him, not only on a potential roll on stage, but with the jump. That was very good reaction for Mr. E, and that's why I was scared for Tilde at the end, because that was looking a lot like game number one. Pushing forward now that he realizes Tilde is kind of scared to go for the kill. What I think. Oh! Like, just 0.7% off. Here we go. Now finds another opener. Mr. E already jumping out of his seat when he's got a two game lead. <laughs> I can't man, wait to see what happens if this goes to game five. Mans is plugged into the Matrix. He knows damn well that in spite of being two games up, he isn't guaranteed this set. Tilde can reverse 3 0 him. I mean, it's absolutely possible. All right, that wide hit of down air bringing into the stage is not the one that E needs because of that. Tilde living to fight another day. Oh. Finds the mark with down air and Tilde's back on the board. It's a 2-1 count. That Just presence of mind. You gotta stay wide awake in a set like this. Oh my goodness, running up and going for the side B. Did not get punished, found his own down air, but this is gonna be a punish out of shield 100%. However, Dolphin Slash, still not enough just yet. Mr. E is gonna find the timing on the down air, but he gets the spike and then he decided to put himself directly in harm's way in front of another Dolphin Slash. That was such a consistent game plan executed from E. The way that he was just constantly responding to the Firefoxes, how he was constantly pressing to the ledge. Down tilt and up beat oh. did all the work there, but Tilde evens it back up just like that. Speaking of falling through it, Tilde is kind of navigating this platform very well. I mean, this is one of the things I was saying before where even though Mr. E does get consistent ledge traps, Falco gets one whole platform to not land on because he's currently in the blast zone, and that is another stock loss. This time, however, it is Mr. E up with the stock lead. I think this is pretty much the first one we've seen him with because every other time he made the comeback. Trying to set him on his landing course to the blast zone once again. But it is still a possibility here. If Tilde can find a mix-up like this, gets the re-grab. He sends him up to the top, and he finds the up air, and he's not dead just yet. I 100% believe that was going to kill, and now this game is still going, Frank. <laughs> this is anyone's game at this point. The way the damage Whoa! is climbed up, but that up smash demands a game five from Tilde. He can find kills much sooner than Tilde with that forward smash, but he was looking for the, re uh, the reset on that downer. That 100% would have led to a stock. Speaking of which, he finished his food that time and found the down air. Tilde has been playing this game five out of his mind. He's entered this bracket looking phenomenal. And I feel like that goes without saying with him being in winner's finals. But just the adaptations that E has been forcing from him time and time again, both players are forced to find their landings. Oh, see, the other times, it doesn't work every single time. But that time, though, caught him slipping at the ledge. That is an aggressive side B coming from Tilde, who finds the mark. However, Mr. E needs to make sure that he solidifies his stock right now as we go into the last stock of winner's finals. One stock apiece. I swear, if this game ends on a down air from Tilde, taking it away at 25%. He does find the grab, though. That is immediately 59% on board. He gets a trade-off with the down air. That's a very 
very bad spot because he just used his jump. And because he used his jump, Mr. A positioned immediately for that up tilt because he knew he had no other resources other than trying to side B towards the ledge. And that is a free punish for Mr. E every single time. We're going right into losers finals. Got to keep this trainer rolling. And going along as the final match of the losers end of this bracket gets played out. Tilde versus Chris. Two of the brightest stars to come out of online play. And they've come so far. This would be an excellent tournament to put under their belt in order to prove a lot of their efforts, not just online, but here offline as well. But the consistency of Tilde is not one that you could just freely think you're going to get by uh, the way that he's been playing of late, especially trying to read a bunch of air dodge reads the way he has done, just like he attempted to do there. Like, going to fight Mystery over in Grand Finals is going to be something very important for both of these players. For one, Tilde's going to want his revenge against E, the only player to really put a dent in his flawless record tonight. Like, Tilde has been doing a really good job of making sure not to press too forward into Chris's burst range and make sure that he just responds to where Chris is moving around. Such is Ness. Such is Ness. <laughs> and if there are two things that are, if some things are eternal in this game, and also Falco grabs as well. Uh, that is going to be Tilde taking it with a, like, a taquito murder face going on right there. <laughs> is this Street Fighter? Like, they came to win. Out Tilde thinking that he was going to go for the plats and then just dipping low. Like, just really good judgment calls from Chris when it comes to the stage. You know what? I don't disagree with that whatsoever. You're a stock up, and you see PK Chris throwing out a lot of back airs trying to call out a jump on you. What do you do? Start doing the same thing, because if you happen to catch a trade, that's a stock. Yeah, no, absolutely not. It's like, I do not want to be in the brace of these arms because that's exactly why you don't want to be. That is the first stock going to PK Chris, and pretty much, uh, it's gone. Free potential edge guard. You force a nest to go low. You could possibly spike that uh, uh, with that down air. Not even necessary though. We see the back air coming through. You know, Chris is just too confident with how well he could stall off stage. No matter how well Tilde thinks he has the timing down for that, he don't got those. Um, what? That is not a good time for anybody. Top, like, top five scariest moments in the game because you do not want to be fighting Mr. E on the ledge. He has barely got a hit, but that time Tilde finally jumps around and finds the counter hit. Just fantastic play in such a risky situation. Tilde knows that he has to go for broke when it comes to all of these little interactions because E just does that! Punishing him re repeatedly for side being high. I think the fact that's most important for this pick as we see Tilde fall the last stock already. Which means because I said it out loud, it's coming very soon. But right now that is a back air, that is a stock, and that is Tilde looking at what could be a comeback here. Uh, even though it wasn't too far behind, Tilde definitely needs to consistently get these dubs because you do not want Mr. E to start get back in the game. Yeah, now we need to start seeing these long-winded combos from Tilde. It's going to put on plenty of damage very quickly. He finds the stagger hits on the Dancing Blade, and we're looking at what could be Mr. E taking the game, and we get an even set. It's so important for E. Regardless if he finds the mark or not, Tilde's forced to respect that button. And he's got to force to respect a read on neutral getup. That grab just seals the deal. Mm -hmm. Relatively speaking, there's not a lot of active movement options available to Falco, but walking, just shuffling in place like that without committing to dashing is so pivotal. Tilt maybe at the ledge? Nope. He's waiting for him to do Oh, he gets the on he gets the down tilt scare, but it doesn't get the hit on the mark. And now Tilde is literally just being very confident in his ability to try and find one right now. I mean, this is microspacing. This is what Tilde needs to do. He needs to be able to threaten if he's going to run up and use an aerial, if he's going to grab, if he's just going to down tilt. Because nearly max rage down tilt would absolutely kill Lucina at this point. Oh! But back air from Lucina going to answer instead. And now E is one game away from taking this tournament. This is what? He did just get grabbed. Up throw is not enough to do it at the top. The air dodge is blown. Can he get by? The forward air finds the mark. And we are going to a game number five. But that forward smash is not going to do it. He just misses the mark. And then he finally gets a shield on a dolphin slash. Finally! And he gets the back air. And that is once again Tilde with the stock lead. Hey, there is such thing as professional mashes, bro. Look, <laughs> all pros are just mashes to get away with it. That, that, that's just a fact. And that back air is Tilde getting away with the reset as we get Tilde getting it in th game number three, excuse me, number five with the 3 2. We have more games still to go. But, Frank, how are you feeling about this as we get into this next set? Honestly, I'm calm and collected. I'm sitting here thinking that the play is going to be phenomenal, and it's in no possible way able to call who's going to win it. 
Every game of the previous set of grand Ooh. finals, we saw Ooh. one player in the lead. Ooh. And here it's Tilde taking that lead. A steel shoes and a, a titanium set. Yaya, you will not catch me parrying a shield breaker <laughs> like that. But right now, he's got the confidence of uh, uh, like everybody in this building. He just got up and said, yo, come here. And just, just back through. No fear whatsoever of possibly dying there. But the high blast zone working out very well for keeping uh, Mystery in this game. Oh, that connection's oh. gonna do it. Side B, up air. And game one goes in favor of Tilde. I'm gonna say it, we Whoa. gotta say it at once. We gotta say it at least once. He got the mangles. He found his way past them he and he really was able do. to get he really the do. kill. Uh, you know, the battlefield doesn't matter. Small battlefield doesn't matter. He's still got his timing every single time on that. And Lilat certainly not mad either. We have the 3-1 stock count. He calls it out, calls him out again on the Tekken place. Once again juggles him. Can he find out something else? Absolutely not. He gets the anti-air up smash and that is Tilde getting himself a 2 game lead in the reset. Let's play. Absolutely. And I'm very surprised just in general it took so long to get here. This is like yield neutral. This is where everybody loves to go. But we are going to see a very quick exit from the building for Mr. E for deciding to throw hands a little bit too much with Tilde. Every character you play by looking at how Tilde Ooh. is placing himself and finding this damage. Oh my god, almost getting the kill off the top. Mr. E getting by with just a barely, like, oh, he, he gets the up. The top. He doesn't do anything at all. He just waits for the jump. He baits him out by just walking up to the ledge, gets the anti-air up smash. We're looking at another massive lead here from Tilde over Mr. E, what could be a 3-0 in the reset. Say, that side B can show up at any time. That back here can show up at any time, but he somehow lives, and then he gets the trade on the down air. I don't think Mr. E's making this back he got the trade he finds him all the way off the stage and that is Tilde taking it in the reset of Alpha 4 tonight over Mr. E what a ridiculously incredible set we had put in that work he put in that work and that was absolutely incredible and I am just so impressed by the way that he handled Mr. E in the reset because Mr. E looked so good every game when he had a lead and then he just stole it from Tilde but afterwards Tilde was done with that